more time. What did you call it? Got a shark frost. Shark, shark frost. frost. <laughs> bite. Bite, bite frost. Bark. Bark shite. <laughs> bark shite. Uh, shark frost. Bite shark. Shark shit. Shark. Shark shank. Shark shank. The shark shank redemption. <laughs> fresh coat with uh, the old shark bite installed and today is the day I'm gonna go out right now and meet some of uh, the locals out at one of my favorite spots and we're gonna test this thing out it's not the craziest spot to be trying this at uh, you know like a bando or some sort of office type area might be better for testing like penetration and stuff like that but I really don't want to break anything today so uh, we're gonna go to this park and find these nice sexy set of trees and uh, we can definitely push the range there and uh, see how well it does but I'm really excited to find out how well this does on one of my builds uh, so hope you guys enjoy this and please let me know what you fucking think below uh, I'm really curious as to what everybody's thoughts are um, being that there's this kind of huge divide right now in FPV between like digital and analog. To me, I would say things are moving towards digital inevitably, but uh, who knows? I mean, there may be use for analog video uh, for years to come, who knows? But as far as us down here, I think most people, at least in Tampa, fly analog, at least most of the guys that I hang out with. So, I'm hoping to actually get some of my buddies trying trying this out and get their thoughts on it since we, we've been like diehard analog guys for uh, the last couple of years. Anyway, let's get out of here. tried this earlier and my goggles were doing some weird shit and I wasn't getting any video but now they're working all of a sudden uh, I think there might be an issue with the HDMI cord I'm not really sure but uh, it seems to be working so we are going to send it here's uh here's to my first time flying digital on my own quad uh, with not DJI Sweet. It's working. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to give you guys some of my thoughts on the Fat Shark uh, Shark Bite HT system while I'm flying it for the first time on my quad. I have a hard time talking and flying, so bear with me. Wow. That looks pretty nice. I have heard Wait, that this going? looks better. Wait, where are you going? Could you, would you turn around? Is that possible? Whoa. A little blip take off. I've heard this looks really good through some HDOs. Wow, I think it looks really nice already. Oh my god, I'm impressed. Holy shit. I'm not feeling any latency compared to like what I normally fly. It feels about the same to be honest. I haven't gotten any major break of yet. Take it a little bit. 
bit further and see what happens. Whoa, okay. Starting to get a little glitchy. Press its eyes, good. This is incredible. This is much better than what I have going on right now. I honestly thought it wasn't going to be that different from analog, but wow. I'm impressed at how clear it is. It's also the first time I'm flying this quad, so... It's a bit of a... Oh, made in flight. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of trying to be careful in the beginning, but... I felt comfortable pretty quickly. I mean, feels really good. Looks really good. Awesome. Very nice. Definitely. Impress. See if I can get some like serious breakup going on. So far this is already way further than I could go on analog. I mean I can actually go down here on analog. Whoa squirrel! Where'd that little shithead go? Uh, I can actually get down here on analog, but I will have, my breakup will probably be just as bad. Oh, shit. Okay, a little, all right. That was close. At least, uh, the breakup is not pretty, but at least it's, um, I would say momentary. I mean, seems to go away pretty quickly. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in because Battery uh, is getting a little bit low. Wow, that was successful. Wow, so my first experience on this was with the micro that I flew uh, out in South Carolina with the rotor ride guys um, and uh, it was a little questionable because you know, it wasn't my quad I wasn't really sure if that was if it was supposed to feel the way it did or if uh, if there was some kind of latency or anything but flying it on my own quad uh, now I have no problem flying that shit uh, critical error I don't know if I'm going to change everything to digital right away, but I can say that I'm very happy with it uh, after just one fight. I think it looks awesome. And I definitely uh, need to test it out in some different uh, areas, uh, especially like bandos and stuff. Uh, I didn't even check what, like, if it's putting out the right amount of power. So, I mean, I could, I, maybe I can bump it up. Let me see. All right, well, uh, I still need to figure out how to use the OSD, but uh, I'm really glad that they at least have that. Uh, cause I think in the beginning, DJI didn't really, uh, I think you, you had like voltage on your OSD, maybe in like your signal strength, but uh, you can actually tune your PIDs and rates through this uh, OSD menu. And as you can tell, you can have all the same elements you would uh, with analog, like your battery voltage, RSSI, yada yada yada, craft name, all that shit. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, the st 
stick movements, the gestures to get into the menus were a bit different, so I will have to go to the man manual and refer to that. Critical error. Yeah. Uh, so my next step is to get some of my buddies to try it out and uh, see what they think about it. A lot of a lot of us in Tampa here have been flying analog uh, for years. Um, most of us fly analog. I mean, I could think of less than a handful of guys that I've flown with in this area that fly DJI, so I'm interested to hear what they think. Uh, I've sort of been waiting for this for a while, and I know the first version was not that good, and they've been Fat Shark has been putting out a lot of stuff. Uh, you can tell they've been working on it, you know, and being that their competitor right now is DJI, um, you would expect them to be working really hard. So I can see this getting much better. And honestly, I've already said it, but I'm really happy with it as it is. Uh, and I can't wait to try it out in some other places. But yeah, let's go get some of these guys flying the shit and see what they think about it. And uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna have Chris try the shark back now on this motherfucking goat. Don't break my shit, Chris. <laughs> I never crash. <laughs> 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 you have to do that top. And then turtle mode is the red one, but you know, I'm not, you're not gonna use turtle mode. It looks all fucking pixelated. Crazy. <laughs> No, it's fine. I don't like it. You don't like it? Nope. You're lying. It's like all pixely fucking crazy looking. It's pixely? Yeah. You're getting like confetti and shit? Now I'm getting confetti, but it's like the picture is like, I don't know. I don't understand the hype. I mean, there's not that much hype. Not many people have it yet. I don't think there's that much hype. How does it feel compared to analog, like latency wise? Wait, I'm not seeing anything different. It feels pretty similar. Yeah, it's just the, uh, yeah, the picture. Could be where we're standing, like under this little shit. It's weird. I might uh, play with some other antennas and see if that helps. When you got breakup, was it like bad? I'm getting it right here. You're getting it right here? Yeah. Just the little confettis or like a yeah, lot of little, confettis? Yeah, little popcorns. I don't know, my first pack there was like no confetti and then after that there was like confetti everywhere. Oh, uh, you might have fucking banged something. I might have just banged something out, but... Uh, no, that would be like related to the reception, I think. I'm just flying, not even looking at your battery. <laughs> yeah, the the letters are kind of small, I think. Oh, it's so hot. Good God, look at all that. Different camera angle, fucking not my remote. You made it back, bro. <laughs> Give me a brief summary. What do you think? Do you like it? Would you try it? Would you ever buy it? Not sold. Not sold? Not sold. <laughs> Any other criticisms? I really didn't notice all, all the hype about the fucking better picture and everything. It's like a, almost a different picture. Yeah. Like, it's like a different picture. I don't mind the little popcorns or bad signal. I'm not sure if it's the camera or... Yeah, yeah. I kind of also felt that way. Like, I can see... I can see like the improvement of it, but I I think maybe with like a better camera, 
the picture will get better. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, fat shark, shark bite sucks. Thank you, Chris. I didn't say it sucks. We're but... gonna go throw it in the trash now and we're gonna go back to analog. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we'll get somebody else's opinion that actually matters. <laughs> it's Vance's turn. What do you think, Vance? Tell the truth, it looks pretty well to break. Oh, God. We got some bad breakup. Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, but this sucks. The Late. picture quality uh, sitting on the ground, not moving the quad, was perfect. This reminds me of one of those old video games, you know, with the little ball going from side to side. <laughs> I don't, I don't even, I don't even feel the latency. It feels just like mine. Wow, it feels nice. You know what? I can really, you can really see the ground. I'm just going slow along the ground here. You really detailed. This is not bad. I'm gonna be <laughs> honest with you. It's not bad. I'm maybe there's something a little bit uh, loose in there after Mark crashed the quad. All right. Yeah. I had a clear picture after I soldered the power wires back on okay. and then Mark crashed it. Mark ruined this video review. <laughs> I kind of agree with Mark. This is how it feels to fly like it. Honestly? Yeah. It's better than I thought, to be honest. Quality is good. I, think I, see, I see what you mean about the breakup. Yeah, the breakup is a little unpredictable, kind of. Yeah, but it's not bad. Like, it's fine, dude. I don't know if I switch all my shit over, but it is, it's better than analog. Safe to say the latency, if it was bad enough, you probably would have said something about it. Yeah, latency's not bad. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Final thoughts, better than analog. I don't think it's better than DJI, honestly, but uh, pretty good. Not in a hurry to Not in a hurry to it. switch, but it is decent, better than I thought. That's the King Midas review for you. So let me explain what happened with the DVR. <clears throat> As you can tell, it's not there. I know it's kind of crucial to what this video is about, but um, what happened actually I think is relevant too, and it might help you guys if you have a shark bite module, if you look to getting one in the future, or it might help uh, Fat Shark improve the uh, shark bite module, whatever. The module does record your DVR automatically, which is nice. All you have to do is just pop the SD card in there, but I think what happened was the memory card got full and I don't think the module has like an overwrite feature, you know, that like kicks out the old, um, like the old video and then like, you know, makes room for new DVR. So that's why, um, unfortunately I don't have all the DVR from when I got to fly at this spot and from when I let my buddies fly it. So I'm really sorry about that. But uh, I hope you've got a good idea of what, you know, how the shark bite performs at least. Um, as always, if you have any questions or anything, you can ask me. But you could definitely look forward to a lot more shark bite coming up. Um, I'm going to try to use it as much as I can and give you guys as much DVR as I can. Because I know, in my opinion, what seems to lack right now is like... Uh, any experience with it like people don't really know how they feel about it they don't know if they want to buy it quite yet because they just haven't seen it themselves they haven't gotten to experience it firsthand um whatever hopefully i've been able to help with that and you know give you a good inside look at it but yeah like i said yeah definitely more shark bite stuff coming soon um I'm gonna make sure my memory cards are cleared off every time i go and record so that i make sure i get all of the dvr and stuff but uh Thank you guys again. Back to whatever is going on. Uh. So me and Chris are gonna go up together now. I'm on uh, channel seven on Shark Bite, and he is on R1 for analog. And I already tried having, uh, I changed my channel to one just to see if it would interfere with him and actually got a little bit of breakup on my own shit. So uh, we're just gonna do some casual flying and see how it turns out with both of us. All right, ready, bro? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you right. Sure. Awesome. Is about to get real. So you just want me to follow you and we, we bitch about breakup? I don't think we're gonna have any problems, honestly. Oh shit! That was weird. 
I got some. Oh, Leasing, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't. I don't see anything, bro. Really? My video is perfect. Uh, what's this? Oh, no. Yeah, but then we should probably try to go distance. Okay, where are you? Meet me at the vagina tree. Ah, right, vagina tree. Okay. Yeah, I see you. Where, where, are, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna go to the picnic table. Right. Yep, jamming. Looking good. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other. What is that thing called? Pavilion. Yes. Okay. Is there anybody in here? No, there's nobody. In here. I'm still looking good, man. I don't know about uh, you. I got a little pause right there. Can you go inside the pavilion? I would just flew through it, like right by you. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. okay. Hey. Where's Chris? I'm right behind oh, you. Shit, I'm getting a little bit. Um, want to try further? Yeah, where's the, right, you follow see me. the green building? Green building? Okay, yeah, go, yeah, go green building, going straight to it. That's probably nice. turns to your right a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm, there you go. You I'm looking good. I'm at yeah. the green building, bro. Alright, you're on the other side of the green building oh, from whoa, us. Whoa, 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 really bad. Uh, I got a little really play. bad breakup oh. for me. Yeah, rapid rap fire drop. Yeah. I was on the far side of the building. On right. this side of the building, I'm good. I can't even get on the far side of the building. I know if I go over here, I'm gonna lose. Oh, yep. Yeah, I flew around. Yeah, dude. I can't believe I just got out of that right now. <laughs> I just got like. You guys are good. Yeah, I'm coming back. Do you have a return to home era? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what do they call that in video games where like? Uh, Respawn? No. <laughs> Oh shit. I think they call it tearing. Oh, somebody walking through the middle here. I think they call it tearing where like the graphics kind of like drag on the screen. That looks kind of like what happens um, here. Are we going to terrorize the invader? <laughs> Probably already shitting his pants. There's somebody over there. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I see kids. Yeah, don't go over there. Okay. Where's that person? I, mean, I get more breakup right here by us than fucking when we are way down the road. Oh, yeah, I get super breakup when you're flying by my head. Oh! <laughs> Did you get any kind of breakup from me at all other than just now when I landed? No, just now. I didn't get any either. I'm on channel 7, he's on uh, analog channel 1, I and know uh, fuck I'm at right so now. far it looks pretty good. I didn't get any breakup, and actually I went a lot further than I thought I could initially. Cause that little green building way the hell over. I can't even see the damn thing. I can't even. Oh, there you, it is. You Holy see the corner crap! Of the, through the trees, yeah. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way I've ever. I haven't made it back there at all on analog. I've flown here several times and I have not been able to go back. I know he's been able to go back there a few times, and we were just there. But uh, yeah, you saw my video, so pretty comparable. Uh, I'm flying on 500 milliwatts, and what are you blasting? All of all, the, all of the watts. watts. Thank you. So we got GPS. all of the watts over here. It's like a thousand or something. So maybe if we get more power output on these like fat shark uh, modules, I can see this getting a lot better. Let me just say that. Thank you, Sean, for no uh, being the cameraman, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. All right. So that was good shit. Not too bad. Um, overall. I'd say the picture quality of the digital looks really good uh, compared to analog, but it's uh, very similar. I think the range itself is very similar. Digital clearly penetrates a lot better because in this whole area, when I'm flying analog, I get a little bit of breakup here and there depending on like how far I am or what objects I'm flying behind. But if I stay in the same sort of like my friendly flying area where I can hear my quad and I'm not super far away then I get almost no breakup at all uh, so that's definitely worth something and I really hope to see them build on this and come out with like maybe some better cameras and more powerful transmitters uh, but for now I think uh, now that I'm fully set up on it um, it shouldn't be too difficult 
to actually uh, get some of my quads on the digital system. So I, I may end up doing that just because of how easy it is. Uh, but for now, the rest of my quads are all still on analog. Uh, thank you Rush FPV for providing those ETXs for me and antennas and stuff. You guys are awesome and I'll actually be giving away some Rush stuff on my Instagram very soon. So follow me on there if you don't already. Super interested in what you guys think so please let me know. Uh, let me know, you know if you fly analog, if you fly digital, if you prefer one over the other or what you think about DJI and you know the Fat Shark um, HD system. Like I said already plenty of times, uh, really, really impressed with it and I'm glad I, I got a set. So uh, another thing, if you are looking to get one yourself, you can find them in the Rotor Riot store and actually below in the description, you will find uh, one of my affiliate links to the store uh, where you can find them as well as the cameras, VTXs, all that stuff. Yeah, expect more stuff coming soon. Uh, thank you again, guys. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, Sean, for the help with the filming. And we will see you on the next episode. Oh, hell yeah. Big difference. Well, I got a little breakup right there, man. Ooh, nice.